have some fun? Well, Sunday Night Funnies, that's back. It's the second annual Black History Month show, taking the stage Sunday, February 4th. There you'll find six extremely funny comics, all part of this special edition. Brianna Blackburn, a local favorite, who's been part of several Laugh Fest shows. Brianna has JT Motley, Marcus Cusick, Silas Haley, Deontay Allen, and Michael Chandler. The Sunday Night Funnies is a free show. It starts at 7.30 and is performed at the Spectrum Entertainment Complex in Wyoming. Well, the future of Netflix could include higher prices. Again? Uh, uh, again, right? This is a broken record. And fewer ad-free options mm -hmm. in addition, right? The streaming company's earnings report mentions the possibility of price hikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that's probably a guarantee to reflect any improvements it makes in the future. Netflix plans to add new content to its platform, including its new $5 billion deal with the wrestling company WWE to host Raw in 2025. The added content could lead the platform to require higher subscription fees. Netflix also told investors it plans to retire it's basic ad-free tier in some countries. That tier already unavailable to new subscribers. I think, I, I think they're forgetting why we cut the cable. Right. Right? Yeah. I mean, there was a reason we cut the cable. <laughs> the commercials and the price, right? And then they just think, well, you know, they're losing the subscribers and people yeah. aren't watching. And so let's raise the price because... Because we spent $5 billion on big sweaty men. <laughs> Hey, people love wrestling. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. People love the wrestling. It's going to be there. Uh -huh. Oh, election season. It's here, right? A familiar face is coming back. I do love this. Yeah. yeah. To the, uh, the show, The Daily Show. You remember The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, it used to be called. Mm -hmm. The star of the political satire program on Comedy Central for 16 years announced he's going to return to that anchor seat starting February 12th. Stewart is going to host the show on Mondays. The rest of the week will be filled out with a revolving cast of comedians. Stewart will also serve as an executive producer. After leaving The Daily Show in 2015, Stewart hosted that show on Apple. Apple found that a little too risky. And a little they too risky, and man. They Pushing it. the envelope always, John right. Stewart. But he's back on The Daily. There you go.